What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 WordPress plugins you should consider using on your website. These are free plugins that will greatly benefit virtually every website and blog out there. All right, so I'm going to be demonstrating this on my demonstration website over here. I'm going to go to the back end, to the dashboard, and I'm going to show you the plugins that I have installed. Now these are the top 10 and a notable mention WordPress plugins for 2018. All right, so the first one I'm going to mention is Auto Optimize. This plugin is an extremely important one because it optimizes the performance of your website. So if you go over here to the settings, you can optimize your HTML, you can optimize your JavaScript, your CSS, you could even put in a CDN. And if you want to show more advanced options here, you can do that by clicking that button. And then you can optimize your HTML from there. And then if you want to leave the comments, you can choose to leave those comments in. You can optimize your JavaScript and you have some other options here as well. These are additional settings for your CSS. And then you would just save changes and empty cache. Auto optimize is a great plugin because it helps speed up your website and website performance is extremely important when it comes to user experience and search engine optimization. So this plugin is highly recommended. All right, let's go back to the install plugins. The next one on our list is Google Analytics Dashboard for WP or GADWP. Now this is a very important plugin because it helps to give you more information right within your dashboard about how users are coming to your website, where they're coming from. You get all the Google Analytics data right there within your dashboard. So you would just go to settings over here. You would configure your settings the way you, you need to. You have the back end settings. You have the front end settings, you have the tracking code, and you can enable errors and details if you want. But what you get is in the dashboard over here, you'll get this little widget section here that shows you all activity for the past 30 days. You can look at the sessions, users, organic uh, information, page views, bounce rate, and all these other pieces of information that's going to be very helpful to determining how traffic is coming to your website. Now this is a demonstration website, so I don't have any data on this, but you get a sense of the type of information that you can have right there within your dashboard. Now this is beneficial because instead of having to log into Google Analytics, you will need an analytics account, by the way, it's free. But instead of having to log into Google Analytics separately, you have all that information right within your dashboard. That means one system to log into, which is your website, and you have access to all that info. All right, so let's go back to plugins installed. The next one is iTheme security. Now, this one is a no brainer. We need to be able to secure our websites. And iTheme security is one of the best WordPress security plugins you can choose. If you go to settings, these are the settings that you can configure with the free version of iTheme security. And this will take care of the vast majority of what you need. You get your security check, your global settings, notification center, 404 detection, away mode, banned users, and all these other options over here that you can use to secure your website. They do have a premium version and I do have a premium account and I use it on all my clients' websites because it really does add another layer of security, but the free version provides you the vast majority of what you need. I have another video on how to actually set everything up for iTheme security, so check the video cards and the description area for those links, but I definitely recommend this plugin. All right, let's go back to plugins. The next one is Optimize database after deleting revisions. And this is the extra one. This is the notable mention because these top 10 lists can be very difficult to create because there's always one plugin that you really want to add into it, but then you don't know which other plugin to remove. So this top 10 list has a notable mention and that one is going to be optimized database after deleting revisions. And this is a great plugin. I recently did a video on how to optimize a database. This is important because what happens is your database will get cluttered with extra information that's taking up space. And that will reduce the performance of your database and hence your website. So it's recommended that every so often you optimize your database. So if you go over here to settings, you can choose how you want to handle the optimization of your database by selecting these options here. This gives you a lot of different option settings and you can even schedule your database optimization which is really handy. 
All right, so this is another one that I definitely recommend because it will improve the performance of your website. Let's go back to install plugins. The next one is social media and share icons. Now this one is really unbelievable. I really enjoy using this one on the demonstration website. I'm going to be implementing the usage of this plugin on my sites and on um, my client's websites because it gives you a lot of features. So if you go to the settings section here, this is the settings page that you get right here within the admin dashboard. You can choose which icons you want to show on your website. So it gives you those selections. You could choose what you want the icons to actually do. You could uh, choose what design and animation you want for your icons. They have a bunch of different options. If you want to display the count next to the icon, you could do that as well. If you have any other wishes that you want, like if you want to customize the, um, the width and height of the actual icon, you can customize that there. If you want to increase or decrease the uh, spacing in between the icons, you can do that here. And you could customize the uh, alignment of the icon. So left, centered, or right. Now this option here is really good too. This enables you to display the icons at the end of every post. Now that's great because when a person finishes reading your blog post, you're going to want them to either follow you or to subscribe or to share your content with people that they know. So you can choose if you want that to be done there. And this one's good as well because with this you can choose to get a pop-up at the end of the blog post where it's asking people to spread the word about your articles. Now social sharing is extremely important. It's important to get more traffic to your website and to help potentially get your articles to go viral. Now obviously one plugin cannot make an article go viral, but it helps you get more attention to your various blog posts. So you can customize some of the information here as well. And in this one, do you want to show a subscription form which increases signups? So this is good as well because you can choose to have a get new post by email form on your site. So that's really cool. All right, so how does it actually look? Well, let's go to the front end of the website. I'm going to go to this test post over here. And I'm using the DevWP WordPress development training theme that I have a whole entire video tutorial and playlist dedicated to. So if you want to learn how to code a WordPress theme, definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description to the playlist. But let's see if we scroll down to the bottom. You see down here, you have the please follow and like us at the various social websites. And you can add other social sites here that you want within the settings area. And then when a person scrolls to the bottom, a nice pop-up is going to come up where it says enjoy this blog please spread the word. Now this is what's going to help your blog post reach a new audience. So I definitely recommend this, uh, this plugin because it has a lot of cool features in the free version and they have a premium option as well. And you may want to check that out, but the free version gives you a lot of cool options. All right. So let's go back to the dashboard, go back to plugins and installed. Now we all need to take backups of our website. It's your database you got to backup and it's your website files that you have to backup. Now Updraft Plus is by far the most popular backup solution for WordPress that you can get for free. Now you go over here to the settings section and you can choose to backup now. You can restore from a backup. You can clone and migrate as well. You can take a look at your existing backups. You can, uh, Enter your settings over here of where you want your backups to go to. Your, you can choose your remote storage and you can choose what you want to actually have backed up. Then you have your advanced tools and your premium extensions as well. So Updraft Plus, when it comes to backup solutions, really is second to none within the free solutions offered out there. Their premium option is also very highly rated and you may want to consider upgrading to the premium version of Updraft Plus because the amount of features they provide you will be enhanced. Now since I run a multi-site installation, I use Backup Buddy because I have the entire suite of iThemes plugins that I use on my website and my clients' websites and Backup Buddy has support for multi-site installation. The free version of Updraft Plus doesn't have multi-site support, but the premium version does, and so does the gold version. So you may want to check out these different options here as well. All right, let's go back to installed plugins. Now, WordFence Security, just like iTheme Security, is a no-brainer. WordFence Security is one of the most popular WordPress security plugins out there. 
comes with a bunch of features, comes with a nice dashboard that gives you information on what's taking place on your website. You can start a WordPress scan, which will scan your entire WordPress website and see if there's any changes within your files, see if there's any changes or any differences within the themes or the plugins that you're using and look for anything that might be a security issue. You have a firewall that you can configure over here. You have the blocking where you can block certain IPs, you can block or throttle IPs if you want. You can also deal with certain countries if you want and advanced blocking as well. If you want to check out live traffic, you could do that here. And then you could take a look at your tools. You could do a who is lookup straight from your website dashboard. And then you can configure all your options over here. Now I did another video on how to properly set up WordFence uh, security. It's a pretty in-depth video, so definitely check it out. But this is just an overview. All right, so WordFence security, definitely a recommended plugin. Let's go back to installed. Now, when it comes to the performance of your website, we've already covered auto optimize and we covered optimized database after deleting revisions, but you also need a good cache system. And WP Fastest Cache is a very simple, easy to use cache system that works seamlessly with the auto optimize plugin. And this will significantly improve the performance of your website. So you go over here to WP Fastest Cache. You can set up your settings over here. You can delete your cache from here as well. You have a cache timeout, image optimizations for the premium version. This is the premium option that you can get. If you want to exclude anything, you can do that here. If you have a CDN that you want to integrate with, you can do that as well. And it also has a database cleanup that's available for the premium version, but we have another plugin to deal with that. But WP Fastest Cache is definitely one that I highly recommend. Again, it's about the performance and speed of your website, which is extremely important for your users visiting your website and also for search engine optimization. All right, so continuing on the performance of your website, another plugin that I highly recommend is WP Smush or Smush It. If you go over here to the settings, what it does is if you have an image that needs to be optimized in terms of compression, this will take care of it for you. You could also... Uh, have it automatically compress every image upon upload, or you could just do it manually if you want. Now, this is important because images or pictures tend to be the largest item on your website or on a web page. So by optimizing it, by compressing it, you reduce the overall page size and in turn increase the performance. So WP Smush is highly recommended. All right, so we go back to install plugins. Now on your website, you're going to want to be able to have people communicate with you to send you information to contact you. And one of the best options you could choose is WP Forms. So if you go over here to settings, you get this uh, WP Forms section over here. You can uh, take care of your general settings over here. You can uh, configure your email if you want to have recapture, validation, and other integrations. If you go to all forms, let's say you want to add a new form. You give yourself a form title, you can create a blank form, a simple contact form, newsletter sign up form, a suggestion form. And if you want their premium option, you could upgrade and you get a bunch of other pre made form templates. You can take a look at the form fields, settings, marketing, and payments if you want to accept payments. For this one, you would need the premium version, but the free version will be great to create a contact form to let people communicate with you and send you information. And the user interface for WP Forms is really cool. I'm going to do a separate video on WP Forms and I'm probably going to get the premium license because it's such a highly rated plugin that I definitely think it's something I want to integrate and implement in my overall catalog of premium plugins. I currently have Gravity Forms and I find that to be a great solution, but Gravity Forms doesn't have a free option. So WP Forms, they have their free option on WordPress.org. And this is an ideal solution for someone who wants a easy to use, easy to create contact form on their website. All right, so now let's go back to plugins, installed. And finally, we have Yoast SEO. Now this one also needs no introduction at all. If you own a website, if you own a WordPress powered website, you've most likely heard of this plugin. It is one of the most popular plugins of all time on WordPress. It focuses on search engine optimization. 
and the free version gives you pretty much everything you need in terms of ensuring that every blog post, every page, and your website is SEO optimized. So if you go to settings, you can configure your settings here. You have your general, you have your features, your info, webmaster tools, and security. Now I did another video on how to set up Yoast SEO. So definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description section below and in the cards in the upper right hand corner. But I definitely recommend it because if you go to a post, let's just take a look at that test post. Now this one will not do well in terms of SEO because I have lorem ipsum text in here and this is obviously not readable. So I get this notification over here, readability needs improvement. Well that's a given. But you get some other information down here. It gives you an analysis of the problems it found within your blog post. It gives you an, any improvements that you have to work on. And it tells you what's good. It says the only good thing I have on this post right now is the fact that there's over 564 words. That's because you want a blog post to have substance. And obviously while this is lorem ipsum, there's really no substance here. But the amount of counted words, 564, is a good point to be at when you want to publish a blog post. So that's Yoast SEO. I definitely recommend it. It is a very popular plugin. It's highly supported. There's a lot of information out there about how to configure this plugin and how to use it to really improve the search engine optimization of your website and blog. All right, so that's that. This is the top 10 WordPress plugins that you should consider using in 2018 and a notable mention with the optimized database after deleting revisions. Just to run down the list again, we have Auto Optimize. We can look at more details here, get the information about it. We have Google Analytics dashboard for WordPress, get more details about that as well. iTheme Security, optimized database after deleting revisions, social media and share icons. This is very helpful to ensuring that you drive more traffic to your articles. Updraft Plus, you need to always have a backup of your website, your database, and your files. And this is one of the best free solutions you can look at. WordFriend Security needs no introduction again. This plugin will secure your website. WP Fastest Cache, the performance of your website is extremely important. And this plugin will definitely help out in terms of your page load time. WP Smush will help to optimize and compress your images. You want people to contact you, so that's why you'll need WP Forms. And Yoast SEO, Search Engine Optimization, a, a must for every single website and blog. This one has 17,000 five-star reviews. Now that's a lot. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. I wanted to present to you the top 10 WordPress plugins for 2018 and a notable mention. This will take care of the performance of your website, the security of your website, contact form, social media connection, backing up of your website, and pretty much every aspect of website management you can possibly need. Obviously, there's more plugins out there. There's thousands, tens of thousands of free plugins on WordPress.org. A lot of them are really awesome plugins, and often they seem to do a lot of the very similar things. So identifying which ones are the best ones to use can be difficult to do. That's why I create these videos. I want to present to you what I feel, in my opinion, is the best plugins uh, to use on your website and how to properly set them up. So if you look in the cards and the description area, I'll have links to the playlist and to the, some of the plugins on how to set them up properly. So definitely check that out. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to learn how to code a WordPress theme, go to pixelweb.com. WordPress themes, check out DevWP. DevWP is my WordPress theme development training theme that I'm using in a video series. And this is the main video that goes over how to set it up. It's using underscores, it's using Bootstrap 4, it's integrating everything properly. And this playlist will show you how to code a WordPress theme. All right, so again, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this with your friends and people that you may know. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.